Hey guys, so I was just scrolling through my phone like any 19 year old would do. I came across a few rhythm, rhythm games while I was scrolling. And I guess these are really popular rhythm games. I, uh, I'm not aware of it <laughs> being this popular and I didn't even know about these games actually. Um, so I went ahead and downloaded them because I was bored and holy crap. They're really bad. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go over to the iPad and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. So here we are in the game, and as you can tell, they're bugging me about VIP access. And the way the gameplay basically works, you hold your finger down on the touch screen, and you basically just vaguely uh, go to the rhythm and go back and forth to the beats of the tiles, pretty much. And it's so... It's barely considered a rhythm game at this point, uh, even though on the App Store it is underneath rhythm games. It's the same thing every single time. And, and honestly, this this is fine. This, this isn't inherently bad. If you want to play a rhythm game and you want to feel like you're good at a rhythm game, and you want to basically, you know, feel good, you can play these kind of easier rhythm games, and that is just A-OK, -okay, man. If it makes you happy, if it makes you, um, you know, if it helps you get through the day and stuff, pull out your phone, play a quick song or two, that'd be fine. But you'll quickly realize there's a darker side to it all. As you can tell, we're getting an ad for Magic fucking Tiles 3, whatever the hell this game is. We'll get to this later. <laughs> Um, you, you just gotta get out of the ad here. Um, uh, oh, it's putting me in the store now. Okay, that's nice. That, okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> you get one song, and every single other song is completely locked or behind an ad. So as you can tell, these games are pretty half-assed and pretty simple <laughs> and pretty basic. And it would be fine if you're monetizing your game that is big and open and a experience that is pretty hard to make and pretty hard to uh, produce. But these are like the most budget, most easy to make rhythm games I've ever seen. They are just on the flipping screen. So don't give me that excuse. We're gonna look at another rhythm game from this company and we're gonna see maybe it's better. Maybe it's a much more pleasurable experience. Here we are back on my trusty old iPad. As you can tell, I actually hit this as a start subscription button here, so I had to restart. And check it out, it's Dance Monkey! Again, it's the same song! Woo! Yeah! Sarcasm aside, the gameplay is actually much better here. It's actually more of a rhythm game like Cytus or a uh, Demo or something, a better rhythm game. It is much more enjoyable here. I have never played the piano tile games before and I have heard of them, of course, but I've never played them myself and this was actually quite enjoyable. It is really lazy because once you beat the like about 50 seconds of a song they give you, it speeds up times two, then times three, then times four, then times five, and just keeps speeding up over and over and over again until you fail. <laughs> I just imagine you finally beat Intense Voice of Hatsune Miku and then it just restarts and you're like, uh oh, nice. As you can tell, it really does just go on for infinity. Like, it just keeps going and keeps going. I'm gonna be sleeping tonight and I'm gonna be hearing Dance Monkey in my freaking mind. It won't go away. It is so weird and bizarre how, like, they just repeat the same song over and over and over again. Like, it's really weird. Like, I'm at 4,000 combo here and it's like, oh, is it over? Is it over? Oh no, and damn, we're Dance Monkey! Woo so here we are with Color Hop 3D. Um, taking a long time to load. <laughs> what? What? 
Why is it? What? Why is it in this language? What language even is th Oh, Okay, and it's the exact same thing as Tiles Hop 3D. Ain't dead as the. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm done with this already. Let's, just, let's move on to the next. Okay, this is the rhythm game that will put away all of the rhythm games. Oh, this is the Amalaton rhythm game that. And it's the exact same song. <sighs> this isn't even syncing. This isn't even syncing at this point. I'm not even tapping to the music. This, is, this can't even be considered a rhythm game anymore. I'm literally tapping off beat. It's making me tap off beat. Oh my gosh, this is pissing me off. I am, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I am absolutely done. No, awesome to go away. Here are the developers uh, of the games here. Uh, they just crank out the most brainless shit. <laughs> kind of started off this video as a joke, but now I'm kind of genuinely depressed right now. Just how bad these rhythm games are and just how this company just cranks them out. The same thing, the same song, same gameplay, and they charge $7 a week, a week for what, 70 songs? I just, it's terrible. It's, I see these ads all the time. I'm sure you see all these ads all the time and they're just the same shit cranked out and cranked out. I don't recommend anyone to play these rhythm games. They're terrible and they really give me no sense of accomplishment whatsoever when I'm clicking offbeat to the music. 